It's showtime. What's up, historians? Welcome back. Season four, Historically Haunted Vodcast. I'm your host once again, Adam the Historian Ghost Hunter. We are in episode, I believe, 28. And this is a big one for me. This is someone I've known for a while before I became into the podcast and became a booking agent and all this shit. You guys know me when I was just a little guy in Maine. I was on a team. Uh, we're not going to name drop the team, but I met this dude from Maine. Um, an average fisherman. We're not going to get into that, but that's how I met him and knew him back in the day. Uh, I've known this guy for a while. Uh, Jeffrey David Witham. Jeff, Jeffrey, Jeff Dog. Um, this dude's a good shit. He he uh, he knows a lot about the paranormal community. He's an paranormal investigator with AJ's Paranormal. He's, I believe, co-founder as well as the, one of the lead investigators. That's based in Southern Maine. He's also um, Jeffrey's Traveling Boards uh, Museum and Boards, Ouija Boards. Well, not Ouija. That's cliche. You can't say that. It's trademark. But fucking Spirit Boards. Um, like Danny Perez does, my other client. He makes them, custom makes them, he sells them. He collects haunted goods, haunted items, travels with them. Um, but he's also now recently an event organizer, if you guys might know, the Maine Paranormal and Horror Con. 2025 september 6th my birthday for christ's sake i'll be 46 fuck me what's up brandon viper paranormal checking in one of the top donators for the show appreciate you guy what's up west virginia checking in on the house so real quick before we get going um let's check out a little, little something 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 hey marlon taylor here if you guys don't know it's young mike hamlin from the 1990 version of stephen king's hit you guys sitting in Oh, y'all know what to do. Ain't got nothing to do. You know what I recommend? Go check out Historically Haunted, the podcast. Have a good one. Have a good one. Go. If you guys remember, that's Ma Marlon Taylor from Seattle, Washington. He played Mike Hanlon, uh, original Losers Club. It the little the reading the book and stuff. He was uh, the black kid in the in the, in the film It. Uh, Marlon and I are good friends. I always say good friends because he came down to Bangor and told me he's going to come down. And he met me, gave me the intro, we hung out, um, had a cigarette together. If you know what I mean, kind of shot the shit at his little signing. Got to sign some stuff for my friends. Speaking of signings, before we talk to my guests, if you guys don't know, if you don't follow me. Um, I went to a book signing last night in Derry, Maine, Bangor, Maine. I heard about it on Stephen King Radio, WKIT, 100.3 FM. Tell him that the historian goes on a sent you. And I met to go see uh, a meet and greet in, with Joe Hill. Joe Hill is uh, he is an author, made horns, the author of Nosferatu. The um, not the you know he's a vampire, but the, you know basically it's Stephen King's son. It's his oldest son, Joe Hill King, Joe Hillstrom. And as I'm sitting there, if you guys know I love King, I do the tours, Derry, Maine, all that shit. That's what I do, historically on the tours. Stephen King walks in with his crutch. And I, I I mean, I've met some people. I've met Rob Zombie. I've met, you know, Miko. I've met, you know, Penny. I mean, I've got a collection of people I've met. But Stephen fucking King, and I went to the same high school as him, Lisbon High School. We're both Greyhounds. I grew up at eight years old watching The Shining. And my mom telling me, you're going to the same high school, the guy that wrote this book. And I've been obsessed with Stephen King. Been to his childhood home on Runaround Pond Road. Been to Runaround Pond where he got a leech on him and inspired the leech scene in Stand By Me. So he walks in. I just felt like a fucking kid in an Elvis concert or like a teeny bop at like a Mariah Carey concert. I don't know even what I can't even describe to you. I almost dropped to my knees and fell on my friends. They almost gave me a chair. They thought I was going to pass out. There's like 30 people there. Free admission. This little place in Bangor. A little nothing of a book place. And Stephen King walks in with a Bangor hat. J uh, Owen Hill shirt jacket from his call, you know, his other son. And uh, I asked for a picture. He said, he, he goes, no, 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 I can't. We made eye contact a couple of times. I was three feet from him. Um, I, uh, yeah. Shaking like, like a leaf, honestly, ready to pass out. And then as he left, I get the back of his jacket. He sees a red jacket, says Bangor. And then of course I met Joe, which was awesome. Real quick before I bring my guests on, I know I'm blabbering, but I'm fucking excited. Joe horns, Joe Hill, <laughs> as he drew all that on there to Adam, he put so that's dope. So I got his book. I got a couple other books, but I didn't have this one. Um, I got the umbrella Danny Perez gave me that they used in those for too. Maggie used it. So anyway, enough about that. I'm going to bring on my guests now. What's up, Vince? Thanks for checking in, brother. Appreciate you. You saw the post about that. So without further ado, just waited long enough by the campfire. Let's talk about some spirited boards. Let's talk about the convention in Augusta, Maine next year. And Augusta Civic Center that Briff's going to bring. Um, Jeffrey David with him. Jeff, what the fuck's going on, brother? How's it going, everybody? What's going on? Sorry for blabbing so long. I fucking, I'm, I, I'm still <laughs> right in the high, dude. You know, because you're getting these people for the convention. You know what's up. We're going to dive into that. 
But King is the pinnacle. He don't even do this shit no more. Um, shout out to Triple Goddess uh, Cannabis for giving me a joint for the show tonight from Brownville, Maine. Appreciate you guys. So, Jeff, my brother, a long story short, um, before we even start this thing, how are you, man? I'm doing pretty good. Other than my cat dying the other day, but everything's good. I saw that. Shout out to you, uh, the cat. I saw there was a post. Animals are, are just as good as humans, if not better in some situations. And um, that cat was loved. And that's hard, man. And I get it. You got a lot of good going on in life, but life hits you bad. But but anyway, man, we've known each other for a while, at least five, six years. Probably seven at this point, I think. Maybe. Probably closer to ten. Maybe even ten, right? It's good. My mom was still alive, for Christ's sake. And that was, so, yeah. Um We've done some paranormal investigating. We've done some radio shows together. We we uh, went paranormal investigating in a graveyard in Hollowell, Maine. Q ninety seven nine nine recorded us with a goat fountain. So you're no stranger to this shit. But as far as the convention now, I'm gonna start this. This is a question from Adam, your friend. What the fuck got you to go, Jeff? You're gonna do a convention in Maine and blow the doors off anybody in New England. <laughs> Let's be honest. What got you to do this, brother? So back in I think it was 2022. We were thinking about putting on a con in 2024, and then we couldn't find a location, couldn't find a location, so we had to postpone it another year. Then all of a sudden, I I saw a show was backing out of the Augusta Civic Center, and I'm like, hey, that's an idea right there. Well, the oddity show that you were at. Yeah. They, that's where I saw you they, again. They're, they're heading cool. to Portland. Okay. And I noticed their weekend opened up for the following year. So I called up the Civic Center and was talking to them. And it's like, they're like, yeah, a paranormal and horror con. They're like, that would be awesome. Especially since we think this place is haunted. I'm like, well, that makes it even better. Wow. I didn't know that. I've seen a lot of wrestling events there. That, that's the only place Elvis Presley paid, played in me. There's a plaque in the front. No shit, Jeff. Really? Leave it to you. Leave it to Wait, you to swoop nobody in Nobody has that. ever investigated it either. We are, um, me and my wife have an opportunity to be the first ones to ever investigate there. Are you going to do that part of the event or is that going to be before that? We want to investigate it first to see if we catch anything before we try to make a, a ghost hunting event out of it. You know, we want to make sure we are getting activity because, well, just like with ghost hunting, you never know if you're going to get activity the first night, the second night. Or it could be super active and you're catching stuff at all the time. But for people that don't understand ghost hunting, like some people, they think it's like the TV shows. Oh, let's stick this guy in this room and... Oh, I got touched. Oh. that This, this room, this is something demonic. <laughs> You know what's funny? I laugh, but you just brought on, guys. If you guys know, the fellow Mainer right there, psychic medium Chris Brown checking in. What's up, brother? He's How's gonna it going, be there Chris? Too. Chris was a guest on my show. I've known Chris for a long fucking time. Um, I actually got Chris be... into ghost hunting for the most part. So um, Chris is going to be doing a gallery reading at our event in Augusta, Maine next year. That's right. That's right. That's right. You 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 got the field stacked with, with everything from horror actors to authors to paranormal investigators to psychics to mediums to just plain crafters. People that, you know, not Walmart, Kmart shit. These people do these things by hand. Designers, artists. Um, pretty good spectrum. You're doing a lot of people a big favor, man. You, you I think a lot of people need to shine. And uh, I mean, obviously you're getting like you're getting Jason Voorhees. You're getting my girl, Stacey Johnson, Pennywise. We got um, Leatherface from Part Two coming, but you get the little guys too, though. And, and I don't mean offense to that because I'm going to be there. But you got, you know what I mean. You got people like me. Heather's going to be. You got not little guys. That's, that's a bad term. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Like you got like Chris. He's not a little guy, but he's not a TV star. He's but you got a mix. Is what I'm we trying to say. Support our locals. And that's Chris's what I'm trying to say. Name is getting out there big time. Travis Hartford from. Um, What's up, Travis? The podcast there, the uh, missing podcast there. What's up, my friend? Him and Toby, the brothers, they do the Paracon. And I believe you've been at before in Vassalboro at the old mill, correct? Yes. You know Stacy Vince? Great con yes. for many years. I met Stacy last year at the Warren Con. She paid me to be her booking agent, and I get a percentage or whatever, long story short. And she's going to be there as well. She played in the scene in It Remake when Georgia gets his arm ripped off. 
Um, that's her. And under the bleachers, when it's Blue Eyes Pennywise, that's Stacy. I know Skarsgård played it, but it's a fact. I got it for proof. So, also the whole talking scene, wasn't it? And yep. she was in the sewer because Bill could not fit. Bill could not fit. He's you did your homework. Yes. I know. I did my homework. <laughs> my, my girl Heather's came and eating. Hello, friends. That's her with Yellow Wolf. Hey, Heather. Uh, Native American rapper underneath Eminem. Heather cried in Yellow Wolf's armpit. That was awesome. <laughs> we love our celebrities, man. We're very humble. And you know what the best part is, dude? Everybody you're getting is humble. There's no jackass celebrities here. And I mean that. They all seem decent, you know? Oh, and speaking of celebrities, who want to hear the newest two celebrities that are coming to the con next year? There are a lot of okay. people in the room right now. I was going to say, we got about seven. Guys, share this, please. Comment. Let's get at least 10 people, and he will drop. Is that fair? Yeah. Heather, I do, I do. Baby, this is what we do. You guys got to share this. You got to promote this. You got to tell people, join in. Please share this, guys. This is big. Um, there's not a lot of conventions in Maine. There's a couple. But what Jeff is doing here is monumental as far as bringing and a track. And it's different. With the boys. Like, oh, I'm, God. It's not everything. This is a strictly paranormal horror encrypted. We are also working on something else I can't bring up right this second because we have to get it approved by the state. But we <laughs> might be adding something else to the con down the road. It's nothing to do with celebrities. It's... Hmm, how do I put it? They're artists in their own ways. I could put it at that. My brain went right to a band like music, but maybe not. I'm not gonna. No, no music. Okay. Although that would be a great idea for 2026, because we are <laughs> signing a contract for the Civic Center till 2029. Dude. So this I mean, will be. I'm happening. a fucking agent. You're gonna tell me this shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I gotta leave some surprises. Speaking of surprises, man, I love that new paint scheme you got in the back of your trailer there. With you spared no expense on that with the whole Paracon crew. Wait till you see the trailer, not the trailer, the truck get wrapped. Sacrificing, That's... sacrifice, what does it say? Sacrificing Jeff needs state permission. We're going to sacrifice you, Jeff? Thanks, Travis. No, 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 no. We're not sacrificing me, Travis. Nice try. Yes, our, our friend David. I don't know if he's coming. He, I'm not. That's not mentioned about that. But Jeff's who? Just it's uh, David Merlin. He's he's a Stacy's brother. He's a magician. He kind of travels with Stacy at no fee. So he made his coming to a magic show for free. Because I was gonna say the way you know what? Go, that could got, be entertaining. <laughs> you got plenty of time between, dude. A, between a paranormal ghost hunt, maybe watch one of the movies with some of the cast. You, oh, guys, I'll also do. Jeff and I are okay. We got some more people watching. A couple more people. Jeff will announce it. But Jeff mentioned to me, and it's a good idea. I think in the off time, at the end when the tour, when, when the when the um, convention's done for the day, I'll do some tours. Belfast, they shot thinner. Stephen King's thinner. There's a couple of scenes in Augusta where they shot thinner. I'll do a little tour package. Maybe a little. Side. There's plenty of things we're we're working with this. So follow the main paranormal and horror con on Facebook. Um, hit going, at least interested in the event, and, and and look at the sponsors he's got. The Farmington Fright Fest, all these places, good people, good Black sites, without support. Tattoo in Auburn. We also got Luchador Tacos as a sponsor. The wrestling, Spanish wrestling. Uh, but they have the best tacos in the state of Maine. Can't wait to go to this. The best burritos. Maybe, maybe we can do a search for Jeff's lost wallet, Travis said. <laughs> Travis <laughs> good jokes we found that one, though. <laughs> Can't wait I to go to this. one of the stores while I was working. <laughs> uh, dude, your first year doing this, you're going to light up Maine. You're going to light the place up. Um, We got so many great people coming. Like, just to name off a few, we got yeah. CJ Graham coming. Did you keep that jar of holy water, Brian? Fuller no, says? I was not going to take the holy water from the Airbnb in Pennsylvania. That would have been rude if I took that. Gettysburg? No, I was staying in Johnstown, which is known for its floods, and it was also one of the biggest natural disasters in the United States history from their flood of 1889. Wow. Jeff. A hundred years almost to the day I was born. We got 10 people watching. You want to announce it? All right. Almost 10 years to the day you were born, you said? 100 years. 100 years? Oh, shit. What are the Well, odds? anyways, since we got 10, 10 people. people watching, here's our big announcement. Our final celebrities coming 
to the main paranormal and horror con are, oh, excuse me, Jeff and Willie from Mountain Monsters. If you guys don't know, there's a lot of horror. There's a lot of paranormal. There's not much as far as cryptids, UFO type stuff. And these guys are right up to that. These guys are Bigfoot searchers. And I'm pretty Mothman. sure they had eight seasons. <clears throat> it's, these are the two founders of Mountain Monsters, Jeff and Willie. Like, they're the, the two originals. <laughs> and there's like, whoa, yeah, that's a big one, baby. Baby, that's a big one. Yeah, it is. And we're and I've already been brainstorming who I want to bring in 2026. <laughs> You've already said it to me three or four times. I want to get them. I want to get them. I'm like, holy shit, let's get this one out of the way first, Jeff. You got a fucking year. Calm down. <laughs> you are fucking ex dude. Your brain is going. So that's why I'm here. I want to keep track of this shit. As you guys don't know, if you do want Jeff for your podcast or show, you want Jeff um, for your convention, hit up me, Historically Haunted Booking. I kind of, as you can tell, Jeff's got his hands full between his family, his life, his job, and this convention. So a little shit like that, no offense, hit me up. I'll manage that for Jeff. Um, <laughs> but you're willing to travel if the fee's paid and shit. And you just went to one not long ago, correct? Last weekend, I believe? I've been, I've had two back-to-back -back weekends. Um, um, let's see, at the end of November, I was in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. Um, last weekend, I was in Fairhaven, Massachusetts. Oh, okay. Um, at Mass Paracon with Sam Bartrusis. His last one, right? His last one. Our setup was gorgeous. So if you have not seen our setup from that weekend, it was amazing. You're right, Jeff. Jeff needs help getting things straight. You're right, Raymond. Jordan. Thanks. Thanks, Ray. Well, he yeah, but he means in a good way. He means in a good way because do your <laughs> Oh wow. Right now we're sitting on my back deck. And you can see the northern lights without a phone. Oh, lift it up. Lift that up. I want to see it. Oh, no. Can you see it? Uh, can you guys see it? Hold on. This way. I just want Hold on a second, know. okay? That way. I can... It's either that or a fire. No, you can see the northern lights right now. Look at that photo my daughter just Everyone took. look outside right now. It's, like, super visible. Do you see that on her phone? It's so pretty. Uh-oh. Adam, where do you go? I did that on purpose. I wanted to make sure you could see it. Oh. Look at my daughter's phone. I saw that. I saw the. Oh, I could, oh, yeah. Let's see. That's. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, good shot. Wave to everybody. You're on camera. I get 10 people yeah, watching. Yeah, wave to everybody. You're on America. camera. Hi. Thousands of people are watching you right now. And you're going to be on YouTube forever after this, too. <laughs> <laughs> and, you, and you just showed the world Northern Lights from Maine. You guys are in Central Maine or, or Southern Maine, Jeff? You We're know, right. town you want to. Huh? Like 30, minutes. 30 minutes from Portland. North or south? North. Okay. Like over there. No, go in the driveway. I mean, see, I moved out. I, I ended up buying a trailer up here. I live between the Appalachian Trail and Bangor. I'm 45 nice. minutes from Bangor and Mount Katahdin. I'm right. I'm, I'm about two hours away from anybody I know, but it's cool. <laughs> My girlfriend's three hours away. So I travel, but. That's how I get to learn how to do the 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 you know the movie filming sites, which I want to bring to it and shit, like the fucking plane yeah. crash sites. Like you found your niche, man. You're on your fucking Jeff. Hold on, what does he say? Uh, Jeff's talking and his wife is on the phone. Raymond, <laughs> I've seen worse. All these people on here who's their their partner sleeping or their cat's crying or their kid. Or... <laughs> it's live podcast. It's cool, Jeff. Um, do you I want to talk about the other bit. the other people that are coming. Well, real quick, here's another guy, Thomas Patrick Gormley, who runs the Salem Paracon. We want to get you there next year. We're thinking in Salem, Massachusetts. That's going to be in two weeks. I'm I going can, to speak. I there. cannot set up my museum in Salem. Why? You're banned? Oh, because no, you need a permit. I, I don't know. It's a rule, I will not right? set up anywhere near the Salem Witchboard Museum. They paid to have rights installed that they own the town? No, I don't. I don't want to step on people's toes, so I will not go. Oh, and set up the oh, okay. Oh, I thought you meant you were banned. Oh, good on you. I'm that's not banned. I just won't set up anywhere near him. Wow. That's, dude, hats off, man. That's respect. Speaking of respect, someone that kind of does the same shit you do to an extent, Danny. Yeah, me Radical. and Danny were set up literally in the same room last weekend, and it was freaking awesome. I got a picture of you guys together at the one that we went to. That's legit, he says. You're right. That's a good shit. That's a good, just a good shit. I'm so glad you decided to join with me. 
And I'm so glad we decided to talk after a couple of years of, you know, we had a mutual friend that was kind of whatever, and it kind of pushed me away, but I'm going to even bring him up. But um, so I want to switch gears real quick. We'll talk more about the Paracon, but I want to talk about paranormal shit. What's one of your best experiences, brother? What's one of your favorite places you've oh, gone? Oh, God. Yeah. Well, I actually had something really interesting happen a couple of weeks ago in Johnstown, Pennsylvania at the Airbnb I was at. So I'm laying in bed. It's probably about 1130 at night. And all of a sudden I hear like somebody running up and down the hall right next to my room. And I'm like, what the hell is my son doing? I get out, walk out to the living room. What the hell are you doing running up and down the hallway at this time of night? I'm like, you're keeping me awake. He goes, dad, I have not moved. And he was like sitting on the couch. And then all of a sudden I'm standing I'm like, damn it, I'm hungry. And I'm a fat guy, so everybody knows I like that. <laughs> So I Jeez. went into the freaking uh, kitchen. He came into the kitchen with me. I was heating up some deer meat lasagna, which was amazing. Ooh, venison. And uh, freaking all of a sudden, we hear the running of footsteps running up and down the hallway again while me and him are both standing in the kitchen. And he looks at me and goes, did you just hear what I just heard? I'm like, I sure did. He goes, I'm like, did you hear that? He goes, I don't know if I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> How old is he? How old is he? 16 or so? Yeah, he's 16. Holy shit. You guys heard it together, Jeff. At what? One in the morning? Something like that? Uh, no, it? about 1145 by that time. Okay. Dude. Which is still awesome. Like, And then finding that holy water earlier in the day, it was like, what is going on in this house where they really need the holy water? That's what he was talking about. Oh, someone misses you guys. Kayla does. Hey, Kayla. I'll be right back. Hey, your mom's watching. Hey, hey mama. <laughs> that's right. Ashley is uh, is, is part of AJ's Paranormal. That's, 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 that's just better half. Hello, Ashley. Yeah, Ashley is heading to the pond to go take a picture over the pond we live on of the Northern Lights. Oh, it's that visible. I saw the picture your daughter had. Holy shit. I wouldn't be surprised they're taking the four-wheeler to go either. I love it. You guys are fucking main as hot and high, dude. Everything oh, we're nice rednecks. Four we like fucking... our hunting, fishing, camping, mudding. Well, maybe not as much mudding anymore. I don't like breaking my machines. <laughs> <laughs> I've Show everybody your fire, guys. That. This is my first time I've had a guest by the fire. Just got a fire, guys. Check it out. Look at that. That's that was my perfect. wife's uh, birthday present, a brand new uh, gas-powered fire pit. Oh, wow. Good. Nice. You're my first guest to sit by a fire. I've had one outside, but not by a fire. That's cool. Um, okay, let's do some fun shit, because I like to mix it up. And my guests, my, 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 you know, whatever. They like to see that shit. So, Jeff, give me, um, let's see. Okay, give me, uh, give me a couple of your favorite movies. doesn't have to be horror. If it is, that's cool. But give me, like, your favorite, I don't know, two or three movies. That you have to watch. Oh, two or three movies. Oh God, I gotta say the original Stephen King's it, because that's always a classic. And I live in Maine, so I'm allowed to have my my main favorite movies. <laughs> no pun intended. No pun intended. Oh, pun intended. <laughs> Let's see. We also. Can it be a TV series? Yeah. I've always been a big fan of The Walking Dead. Okay. So, yeah, it kind of goes hand in hand. It's still horror. Yeah. Oh, I, I dig that. I can dig that. Um, and then, all right, give, give me one more. One? Man, that's a tough question. There's going to be a lot. Okay, give me your favorite holiday then. What, you get, you get, like National Lampoon's Christmas or like The Grinch or... Oh, like a holiday movie? Yeah, like Hocus Pocus. Like what? Like something cheesy? Oh, man. I stumped them, guys. You never seen Jeffrey David with them stumped. It's definitely a Halloween movie, though. It's got to be. Maybe right before Christmas, I bet. That is a good one and a classic. But it's not my all-time favorite. Because it is one of my favorite movies, but like... That's a hard one. What does he say? Watching y'all and drinking straight up moonshine rocks. Well, cheers, Vincent. Appreciate well, you. Glad you're enjoying the show, guys. Follow Jeff on cool. Facebook. You can follow his personal page. You can follow his Jeffrey's, uh, you know, traveling board museum page. 
follow the convention. All that shit's on the Facebook page that I got. Check it out. I probably invited you to like it if you're my friend. One more, Jeff. You're stalling. It's got. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with the Jason franchise. Yes, that a boy. Where's my man right there? Where is he? There he is, right between Mike Myers and Annabelle. Yeah. Oh, yes. That's in the S. And we got CJ fucking Graham coming, bro. Yeah, he's amazing. I asked him and to come on the not- podcast for Halloween night. He said he's busy. So I asked him for another night. He hasn't got back to me yet. But I said, I'm just friend, by the way. <laughs> oh, um, so um, give me something, something you go as far as food, man. Let's talk some fun shit. I know you like seafood. Um, is there a certain type you like, like shrimp scampi? You like Attic. lobster? Had it? Cool. I like lobster, just too expensive. I've never seen Hocus Pocus, Danny says. Yeah, I've been what? to the filming sites in Salem. Me either. If you looked at uh, that cemetery yeah, when the kids had it, it's Marblehead. Hocus. Yeah. I don't think it's I've ever kid. met someone that's never seen Hocus Pocus unless they were really religious. <laughs> that's true. It's like E.T. Or, or fucking like Wizard of Oz. You've always seen it at least once. Um, Jeff, give me a bucket list. Give me one for America and one for Europe or England or something like a place you want to go before you kick the bucket. I would love to go over to Paris and go underneath catacombs. Exactly. That a boy. I fucking know your brain. I can smell it. You live this shit, Jeff. You live this shit. It's not a show. I will definitely get over there before I die. Unless for some reason I drop dead tomorrow or something. That won't, but... (laughs) Don't quote them, guys. Give me one for America. If I had to go to anywhere in America. That you haven't been. That you haven't been. I'd like to go to the Bermuda Triangle. Ooh. Leave it to you to fucking say something that no one's ever said. Everybody says New Orleans or Salem if they haven't been. Well, I've been to Salem. I haven't been to New Orleans. I'd like to go there. Just to experience it. But yeah. I, I want to go to Bermuda, and I know a lot of people think this is suicide, but I want to scuba dive in the waters of the sunken ships over there. Oh, and if you never get seen again, at least you tried, right? <laughs> oh, if I'm old enough and I die while I'm doing it, you are a sick bastard. <laughs> you are a ballsy bastard. I love it. That's one thing about you. You've never turned down a challenge. I gotta admit that. You and I have, have have spent the day in a crypt together. We spent nights, you know, in, in morgues and bathrooms. I mean, we've done some investigating a little bit together, and even grave. Remember Anderson Smith and Wyndham? That's a fucking freaky graveyard. That's a good one. We've done some Free. shit. We, we've, we've been seen in every graveyard in between. There. Huh? We've seen some crazy shit at freaking Anderson. Do uh the Bishop's grave? We went with Chris to the Bishop's grave in Portland at the Western. Yep. But Anderson's been, seen some shit. We've seen some some orbs and figures and, and just Anderson. Whew, we boy. even seen some shit that we wish we didn't see there. We don't have to mention everything. Just Anderson Smith Cemetery in Windham, <laughs> Maine. W-I-N-D-H-A-M, Maine. Check it out. It's probably on the top tip. It's got to be top graveyard. I'm about to say, though, that prostitute there was fucking hilarious. Oh, my God. She was camping out all back in a tent. There's a whore out back in a tent. No. That's no shit. She- in a car every single time we got there. Yeah, well, they is the car. car. That's right. Well, I heard you slept in the tent out back, but that's right. Every time we went, New Orleans is a graveyard right down from the World War II Museum. That's bad as well. Oh, wow. Wow. I believe it. Um, Jeff, we're going to get into some more name dropping. Let's name drop some more people. I'm going to bring the Facebook page on. Fuck this. Well, who else have we got coming? Uh, we also have um, John Dugan. Who played Grandpa Sawyer in Texas Chainsaw Massacre? We also have um, Zaffis, uh, right? John Zaffis, the Haunted Collector, coming. We also have Mike Danger from Ghosted Magazine coming. We also have. Danny was just in Ghosted in the morning. We also have April Brissett coming. Uh, the Hollywood medium. medium. Housewife. From Jersey. Housewife, I mean. Yes, she was on the Holzer Files. Um, I wish my wife was here. <laughs> Can you still see me? Uh-oh. Can you still hear me? Right, I lost you for uh-huh. a second. 
Uh oh. Did your Wi-Fi go out? No, I don't know what happened. Am I in the back room? Can you guys can you hear me? Uh oh. Oh, I'm back. There we go. There we go. There we go. Hold on, real quick. Thank you. <laughs> Look at the names. Look at the names uh, on this. Oh, CJ Nomar is going to be there. There's a fellow Manor UFO yeah. guy, Nomar. I didn't we know. We also that. got Mike Stevens. Nomar. We got freaking um, so many Julian. great guests coming. Sorry, it's Another been a Manor, long day. Chris Julian. Larry Esler the third from Chicago, Russ Driver from Massachusetts, Sam Brutalis. I mean, dude, the Santiago list goes on. Corello. And it keeps Ron, getting bigger every day. Ronnie LeBeck from Destination Bigfoot. Um, we also got um Jerry. Well, the guy that played Jerry, his name is Alan Danzinger. He is from the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre from 1974. He was the third person to get killed by uh Leatherface in the movie. He's going to be there. there. Still... Okay, I was saying, is there still openings for for speakers, vendors, um, goods? Uh, we're definitely goods? looking for a lot more vendors. Um, we got quite a few spots already filled, um, but we have a lot more openings available. A lot of people that say they're coming, but they haven't paid, so we haven't announced them yet. And even some that have paid that we still have to make them a flyer and everything. Makes sense. But there's still openings. If people want to message me, the historical booking, to send to you or to message your page right to itself. To get, yeah. Got right to the fact. Christy Marie, what's going on? Photographer for the War and Con. Um, Shaman and Showman. Yeah. Hit together with uh, the guys that run the Paracon. Hit up Jeff, I'm sure. Um, he, Like I said, he's it's still it's a year away, so people obviously have Sometimes people drop out, there's openings, so we're still working the kinks out, but for the most part, there's a pretty solid foundation to this event, dude. <laughs> a lot of people are talking already, and you got a year to go, for Christ's sake. Um, people are excited, man. Um, let's go food real quick. What about favorite food, my brother? Pizza, Chinese, what, besides seafood? I would definitely have to go with Chinese food. Nice. Good call. Um, one more fun one, music. Give me a couple bands. Oh, stillborn condition. Good plug on fucking Chris Brown. Good plug. And it's local. Yeah, based out of Portland and, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. what's another good band? I like the heavier stuff, the punk stuff, Sum 41. Old school. I, I like the old punk music. Um, I actually just saw Psalm 41 on their final tour not too long ago in Portland. Oh, shit. And I also just saw Bowling for Soup in Portland, which is another oldie band. Yeah. Lead singer definitely doesn't look like he did 20 years ago. But no, they never do. <laughs> they never do. They never do, but they're seasoned. That's Alexa Bliss is my favorite wrestler. That's her favorite band for Bowling for Soup. They made a song about her, if I remember it. Um. Oh, that's fucking cool. So, man, this, I don't know, I can't, I mean, like I said, I want to plug a little bit more of your other stuff, because you got some haunted stuff in your in your spirit board collection. You got some... Uh, I, got, some... I got two haunted boards. Okay. I have one, it's called the Cat Killer. And the story behind that one is, and everybody loves this story until they hear my side of it. Well, anyways, I bought it on eBay. <coughs> <coughs> It was a 1940s uh, Swami board. And I'm like, oh, I need that one for my collection because I don't have one yet. And so I bought it, knowing it was haunted. Didn't know what it was haunted by. The guy sends me an email stating that um, he just got back into town and he shipped it off and wished me the best of luck with it. He's never wanting to see that board again. He's never wanting that board again back into his life. He yeah. hopes I don't have cats because it doesn't like cats. Um, and he also says if I keep it outside anywhere, it will start opening things on me and hiding things from me. It is a really, really bad board and he never wants to see it again. Wow. Uh -oh. The story behind it on my end, when I bought it, I was going <coughs> to be Jersey Pair Unity coming up. And I was okay. not going to be home. So I had it shipped to my grandmother's house where my cat lived. Oh, no. Jeff. Uh, 
So the day the board arrived, my grandmother brought it in the house. Didn't even open it. Just brought it in the box. My my cat walked in that night, went to bed, and never woke up. Get the fuck out of here. She messaged my uh, wife, fiance, whatever you want to call her, Ashley, um, the next day. When Jeff's in a good spot, let him know his cat died. He just came in and went to bed and never woke up. Princess Dan. Speaking of cats, his Eastern Ghost Cat Puma researcher, speaking of Gene Dukesbury from Maine, who's a zoologist and member of Historic Land of Booking. Bad timing, Gene. We love you, but don't get next to this Ouija board, Gene. It'll kill your cats. Holy shit. No, it is now sealed in a case. You still have it? Wow. Yeah. It's a big part of my museum. I saw that on you. I must have saw that at the Oddity Show then. That must have, yeah. I did not have... I didn't have it at the Oddity Show. You didn't have it at the Oddity Show? You had, a bunch, you had about at least 50 of the fucking things. Those are the ones... Oh, I had some, but I didn't have a lot of my boards out. I had a few cool ones. My well, other haunted well, one is called Tornado. Tornado? The story behind that one is I got it surrendered to me in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania at the Gettysburg Bash in 2023. That night, a tornado water spout touched down I'm at the sorry. back of my trailer yes, and ripped up our 10 by 20 tent. My friend Valerie grabbed a hold of the tent and went for a ride like Mary Poppins holding an umbrella. I got wrapped up into the metal. Oh, and back oh no. Oh, no. And we lost roughly about $3,500 worth of merch. Uh, somebody decided it'd be a good idea with the downpouring rain to open my trailer. And all of a sudden, the wind and rain started blowing in. So I lost a few boards. Oh, fuck. Um, of course. They, they, were try they were meaning well and everything. But honestly, the stuff that was already outside, it was done. And then when they opened it, the rain blew in, and they threw stuff in, and when I had the boards on the walls of the trailer, a couple of my boards got ruined in there, got water damaged, warped, but it's it's done and over with. Um, the museum is never going to be outside again. It's only set up inside for now on. Smart. Well, with the learning process, I get it. Um, we do travel with that board. It's on display and will be displayed at New Jersey Perry Unity coming up on, the no I think it's November 2nd and 3rd. And oh, what town is that in? I got to share that. It's in New Jersey, the state. I know that, but I got to share that for you. Uh, what, what, I'm trying to remember, <laughs> know the names of town. I think it's Woodbridge, New Jersey. That sounds the, about high right. School. It's a great event put on by New Jersey Paranormal. Um, we're going to be there. A lot of great people are going to be there from Ghost Hunters to Ghost Brothers to um, Chip Coffee, Amy Bruni, Adam. There's so many celebrities that's going to be there. You don't want to miss that show. Mm -hmm. And plus, you get to come see me, see my museum. It's bigger than it was last year. Last year when I set up at New Jersey, I had about 120 pieces in my museum. Pop the trunk. And, pop the trunk. <laughs> um, this year, right now, I'm sitting at over 180 boards I have on display. Wow. That's not even including all the planchettes. I have one board now that is painted with human blood. <laughs> From the artist, he literally, I don't, know, I don't know if he put an IV in his arm and drew his own blood or cut himself open and drained the blood oh, that man. way. Wild. But he drew Aleister Crowley on a board. And I have it in my museum. Oh, I also, shit. the other cool piece I have, Danny Perez gave me. It's a human scapula planchette. I saw that. And it's made out of a human part of the human shoulder. It's all ground down and and it's literally the shape of a planchette and it has feet on it. And you can use it. Um, like Danny says, it's using the dead to talk to the dead. Pick this capital planchette from Danny. Ah, sorry, just come back from outside. Just wife told us to go look outside the lights. I did. It's amazing. Oh fuck! Now I gotta bring the computer out and go look at it. 
<laughs> you see where you're sitting, Jeff? What? The Northern Lights? I can definitely see something. Like, there's some lights. Really? Oh, yeah. Fuck me. Do I take off side? All right, guys. We're going to go fucking take a walk through my trailer in northern fucking Maine. <laughs> All right. It's going to be dark for a second. <laughs> oh, I'm get bit, hopefully, I'm going to get bit by a snapping turtle or a fucking bullfrog. If you get bit by a snapping turtle or a bullfrog going on your front steps, <laughs> you got bigger issues. Oh, I can see him out there. Look up top. Is... See it? I guess it is Northern Lights. No shit. It's not really that fucking bright up here, but... Those were it, huh? Up there? I heard about it. The guys tell me about it, but I can't... If you take your phone and take a picture, it'll come out even clearer. Right on. No, I guess you're right. Yeah, she was saying that this fucking... Huh. You know what's funny? Now that now everybody that was watching the podcast is outside looking at the sky. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably not bringing it with me. You know what's funny? I've been here for two years and three months, and that's the first time I've talked to my neighbor. <laughs> I've never talked to her. I always just bolt in when I mow the lawn. I wear earmuffs, and I just I try not to talk to anybody up here. I don't want anybody to know me. I live in a population of uh, 1,200, so I don't want them to know me. <laughs> uh, that sounds mean, but just you know. So that's the first time I've ever talked to my neighbor since I've been up here. Holy fuck! But yeah, a little cloud up there. So thanks, just wife, for getting me to talk to my neighbor for the first time in two years. Dope. Uh, I'll get you up here sometime. You'll like it. Uh, hey, they're just going away. We're seeing the, the naked eye right here. Oh, that's right on. You the lights, yeah. Peak at ten o'clock. Hopefully, I will too. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> so, <laughs> Jeff. Um, let's see what we thought. Okay, well, we still got about 20 minutes, but I usually end the show with asking my guests if they want to ask me a question. You want to play host, ask me a question or two? Play host. I oh, usually God. switch it up. I put people on the spot a lot. I like it. It's fun. Yeah, these questions would have been known to think about all day while I'm driving around in my working truck. No, that's no fun, <laughs> Jack. That's no fun, brother. All right, what's your favorite movie? Ooh, okay. You know what's funny? I was going to say Friday the 13th because I, I was chasing for like five Halloweens. But I probably got to go with the original Shining because that turned me on the king when I was eight years old. My my mom's, my sister's father, my mom's boyfriend at the time, Scott, went hunting in Lisbon, Maine where we grew up. And my mom says, you know, and I, my mom was up and I got up and I got a drink of water. And this is the first, I used to watch Care Bears and Ghostbusters and fucking G.I. Joe. So I didn't really watch horror, you know. And she's watching The Shining. I remember watching the scene with the two girls in the hallway and the blood comes up the elevator. I go, what are you watching? She goes, you're going to go to the same high school as the guy that wrote the book on this movie's based off of uh, The Shining. His name's Stephen King. He went to Lisbon High School. He lived in Durham. And I said, all right. And I, so I watched it with her and holy fuck, man, I was hooked. It was all, it was nothing but Pennywise and fucking... <laughs> and you know what I mean? So I, I honestly, long story short, short story long, I'd say probably The Shining, even though King hated Kubiak's version of it because whatever, but I'd say The Shining turned me on to, to horror, to King and fucking A, man, so good question, shit. So, do you believe in cryptids and stuff? We don't really talk about that. You obviously fall for ghosts in the oh. whole horror movie thing. Oh, movies I believe in Bigfoot. You do? I would love to go over to, I think it's Scotland or Ireland, where Loch Ness is, and I would love to go hunting for Nessie. Nessie! Trying to remember if it was Scotland or Ireland. I know it's one of the two. No shit. Anybody watching remember which one it is? I know it's one of the two. Oh, well, real anyway. quick. Someone's got a question for you. What's your favorite board? Great question, Vince. You're on top of it, Moss. That is always a hard one. Kayla I... loves Scotland. Yes, Scotland. I'd love to go over there. But my favorite board. Oh man, I have I have a lot of boards made from artists all over the world. And it's hard to pick just one of those. So I won't just pick one because I love all the artist boards I've ever gotten. Um, but if you want to talk about history, I would have to say my 1891 is my all-time favorite piece. Now, favorite designed 
on a board would have to come from the 1940s Spink board, the Egyptian board. Ooh. Um, I don't own it yet. It is a black board, and it has, like, the Egyptian Spinx on it. I've been oh. hunting for that board. I would love to have that board in my collection, but I have not found one in the wild yet or at auction that didn't go for crazy money. That's, now, that's I do have a couple piece. one-of-a-kind pieces that nobody else has. Oh, let's hear it. I have a planchette that I bought at auction two years ago as a charity auction. And the planchette is legit, probably. Oh, probably about that big. And it's signed by everybody from 2023 that was at the uh, Michigan Paracon. I paid $2,200 to this charity auction for this other paranormal investigator, Brian from Ghost Hunters did the auction to raise money to help him pay his medical bills and stuff. Oh, and that's it. I was bit I was bidding against all these celebrities and I bid 2200. I'm like, let's hope I get it. Let's hope I get it. And I won it and I was so shocked that I actually won. And then I found out later another guy was going to bid $5,000 on it that plan chat. Oh. And he missed the auction by 10 minutes. <laughs> so I was very lucky to get that plan chat. Wow. I also got two tickets to Michigan Paracon, but if I, since I wasn't setting up, I didn't go. Um, I also didn't have the money to go because that was way out in Michigan or the time. Now, if, if I was setting up there, I would have gone because I heard it was always a great event. I have a lot of friends that used to go. I know it was their last year because I always wanted to set up there. I just never got to. Um. Yeah, that was one of my cool rare pieces. I also have a glass slipknot board. It's a oh, one of a kind. I love slipknot. That's my it's a hundred percent tempered glass. God damn. Except for the letters and numbers and goodbye and everything. It's all in the slipknot writing too, which is really oh. cool. I know I mean, Iowa just to see fucking goddamn Chris fuck not Chris Fenn. But I would um oh, god damn it, I'm fucking stoned, so I can't I can't I know his name, I can't think right now. Shit. <laughs> what the fuck is his name? I went to his grave. Corey man. Taylor? No, the guy that died in the band, the fucking Clown? bass player. Huh? Clown? No, Paul Gray. Paul Gray, the bass player. Big face? Yeah, he played clown. No, no, clown's Paul Gray. Or um Sean Crahan. I hey, check it out. Father Ken too. Torres from the Warren Legacy Foundation, California, San Diego checking in. What's up, Father Ken? If you've heard of Jeff or not, Jeff, uh, Jeffrey David with him. How's it going? Paranormal investigator, spirit board collector, haunted item collector, um, or event organizer. Fucking... Do you want to see one of my haunted objects? I don't bring it with me because of a lot of people don't like it because of the history and also what it used to represent. Well, well, well. <laughs> I'm interested. This is, this is a very dark object. Oh, this is a lot of people. First year, folks. This is a historically haunted vodcast exclusive, motherfuckers. I have had it at a couple shows, but I don't tend to bring it because a lot of people think it's very rude. And here it is. A letter opener, like a knife? It was, oh, oh no. Nazi. No, that's a real knife. That's a real. Oh, that's a dagger. A Nazi dagger. From World War II. Woo, Nazi Germany dagger. And there's only 40 to known to exist left. Get the fuck. And that's Forged real steel. silver in the handle and everything. For Wow, what a piece. Um, I got it on auction for, I think it was like 100, 125 bucks. That's it? No way, what a steal. I've been offered over a thousand for it, and I've kept I on turning it. it down. I believe it, just like that goddamn plan chat. You're gonna get fucking ten grand for that one year. Holy fuck! 
Uh, I ain't going to sell it. Well, I know. I know that's not what it's about, but it, that's what's cool, though. You got to admit, that's always nice to fall back on yeah. if you need it. That's oh, good. especially, like, every celebrity that was at at uh, that event signed it, including Jack Osborne, Ozzy's son. And also a fellow ghost hunter, fellow paranormal investigator yep. type guy, TV type of guy, but. I would love to get Jack to come to our event. Either in a, uh, not this coming year, but maybe in following years, you know. Does Merck have the Sphinx blackboard? I don't know what that means. Do you know what that means? Oh, I guarantee Merck has that board. 100% he has that board. Merck has every single board that's ever existed. Pff, who the fuck is this guy? The guy that owns the museum? Robert Merck. He's the biggest collector of. Spirit board, talking board, Ouija boards. Oh, no Ouija. shit. I had no idea. He is the biggest collector in the world. Wow. Well, hey, we got 10, 15 minutes left. You want to plug some shit? Where can people find you and find yourself if they want to get a hold of being a vendor? If they want to book you, obviously, through me, obviously, but also for you. Do you have website, YouTube, Facebook? I got Facebook, Instagram, and Facebook, TikTok. Um, let's see. If they want to come to the con and like be an a vendor or be a speaker or both, um, come uh, message us on Facebook on uh, the main paranormal and horror con. Which, by the um, way, I'm going to be there, guys. I'm sorry, I'm even there. I'm speaking, walking around. I'm going to be videotaping, sharing on Facebook, promoting, doing tours. I'm going to be there. Heather Kim Needy, Witch in Life Guide, Adam Spring, yeah, Ghost Hunter. One minute. There's going to be a lot of locals here. there, but a lot of big names there, too. It's here. Gonna be Ashley wants to say something there. about the con, too. What? Hold What's up, girl? What's up, Ashley? Hi. What's up? Sorry. We were Say hi, everybody. The Northern Lights. <laughs> we went down to, we have a private pond, so we went down to check it out. What's up? Oh, good shot, girl. Look at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> you can't make that up. That's not a filter, guys. It was guys. pretty. That's it was real really life. pretty. That's real. That's no filter. That's real life, guys. Yeah. We'll see How long right that now. last 10, 20 minutes? What? How long that last? 10, 20? I don't minutes? know. No, it's still out there. I mean, you can still see it right now. How many people are? a little bit. I went outside a minute ago. With the, with the, I yeah. live up by... Uh, I live by like Lagrange, Maine, by Bangor, almost by yep. Katani. So I couldn't see it that well. It's kind of foggy, but my girlfriend yeah, lives down. Really in, nice my girlfriend lives down at Old Orchard Beach, and she said she could see it. Yeah, yeah, it's show. pretty cool. Yeah, you guys are in Western neat. Maine or Northern Maine, Eastern? We're like no, thirty minutes north of Portland. Okay, yeah. Also, oh. is she is wow. Ashley going to be at the event set up too? Oh hell yeah. Um, another thing I want to bring up is uh, my friend Stacy Lee. Um, she is like our co-partner in this. Um, she is going to be putting on a metaphysical, uh, metaphysical, uh, what they call those uh, panels like where, with a bunch of psychic mediums, which is going to be. A very interesting panel for our event next year. Which reminds me, we, we got 10, 15 minutes. We can go over, but I want to talk to I want to say, I'm going to have you back on in the future. I'd like to meet, I can have up to five guests, maybe get some of the guests that are going to be there. Do like a round table, if you don't mind. Maybe get Stacey Lee there. You know what I mean, right? Yeah, we can get Stacey on, and I guarantee she'll come. Since you're on record, being recorded, yes, it is awesome. Jeff's on to some great things. He's helping out a lot of people. And I want, and being his agent, I want to book him. I want to get him, you know, I want to get it out there. Let's publicize it. Let's get it talking. So in the future, we'll get other people to come on if you're cool with that. We'll have like a little round table thing. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I can talk to even some of the celebrities, see if they'll come on and talk about the con coming up, get everybody pumped up. In the future, I got more people. It's a team effort. Yeah. In the future, I got more people that want to come up. Sarah French wants to come up. She played Scarlet Salem. Um, I, there's people that want to come up for practically nothing but airfare and fucking hotel. Like, they don't want appearance fee or nothing. So there's some good people that are going to come up. I mean, if, you've got the next five, six, 10, 15 years booked, dude. 
You're doing fantastic, <laughs> Jeff. Holy fuck, brother. I'm like, I know this guy, man. We used to look at a cemetery and get stick a little thing together in the cemetery. And now this guy's out fucking making conventions with superstars. Our um, goal about this convention amazing. is to make it a weekend getaway for families. We want families to be like, you know what? Next year, let's make this a family trip to Maine. Every let's summer. go do the Stephen King tours. Let's do, let's go have seafood. Let's go up and make a whole week of it. Like, enjoy Maine after Labor Day and all the um, tours go home for the year, you know? Like, you know Labor Day is usually our last big hurrah for tours. So ours is always going to be after Labor Day. So we don't have to worry about, like, all the traffic and all that stuff. The um, Frenchies it's coming down and fucking hanging out and taking our beaches. And, and You know what's funny? See, just for Maine like me, I'm sorry, but Maine is goddamn beautiful. Between the hunting, the fishing, just nature walks, the history, ghost things. I mean, I know we're a dead-end state, but I wouldn't rather be anywhere. And I think Jeff's got a big thing going here. He's making it We're basically a part of Canada. Well, it is, but you're making it fun to be a part of Maine again, man. There's no really event like this. I'm excited. It's on my birthday, September 6th, which is super exciting. And to be a part of this with you, man, you're making some memories and traditions. And people are excited, dude. So that's fucking killer. Ashley, do you have the dates for the following years? No, it's going to take me forever to look. Uh, That's right. We're going to have you on a bunch more times. Can can you give me the flyer real quick? Ashley, next time you're coming on the whole time, too. That's a rule. That's a rule. You hear her, you hear her laughing. In the back. I'll bring She's the whiskey. Laughing. I'll bring the whiskey, and we'll go, we'll do it. Okay. Her mother drinks the whiskey. Ashley drinks the beer. Oh, same difference. Her mother drinks whiskey. I love this guy. She does. Um, She's always more qu- right now. <laughs> so a couple, well, a couple more questions I usually end with, and I want to ask you a couple more. So hold on a second. Um, Jeffrey, David, with them the first. Where do you see yourself at this time next year? On to convention number two. Do you see yourself onto something out of state? What do you, what do you see yourself doing? Do you see yourself saying fuck it? What do you see? I see planning the second one for the next year at the Augusta Civic Center. Cheers. I love my whiskey. I love yeah. my whiskey. Yeah. But yes, you're right. You see yourself going on to the second year and fulfilling this contract and just getting another home run, oh, right? I am going to fulfill this contract until the very end. Um. Also, I want to give out a shout out to everyone that's going to be at our con. Well, I'm going to go through everyone. We have CJ Graham coming, Bob Elmore, he plays Leatherface in part two, John Zaffis, a haunted collector from sci fi. We got Santiago Carrillo from um, The Walking Dead, season four, The Prison. We got Ronnie Labette coming. From Destination Bigfoot, we got Alan Danzinger, who played Jerry in the original 1974 Texas Chainsaw Massacre. We got Nomar. Um, he is a UFO UFO. Guy, alien guy. You got an alien guy. We got Russ Stiver. Um, he's a paranormal investigator. He also Podcaster. has a podcast. There. Yep. Um, we got Sam Bartrusis, who's a haunted writer coming. We have... Uh, Psychic medium Chris Brown coming in, and he's also going to be doing a live gallery reading for the guests. And it's all free with your paid admission in. So there's no extra cost. Um, we also got Stacy Lee coming. She is such an amazing person. If you need a Reiki session, you definitely need to go see her. Reiki. Reiki. What, what did I say? Reiki. <laughs> I get that one wrong every time, too. I get that the bottom. I get it wrong every time. We got Larry Elzer the third. We got Chris Julian. We got Kevin Thompson. We got John Dugan, Grandpa Sawyer from Texas Chainsaw Massacre from 1974 and from Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3D. Oh, that's right. That's right. It's an untalked about one, but that's a good one, too. You also got Jeffrey with them. We also got Trucker Donnie Green coming. We got Mike Stevens. We got Danny and Lauren Perez coming. Radicals. The Radicals. We also got um, uh, Mike Danger Castro coming from Ghosted Magazine. We got um, 
April, April Brissett, the housewife of New, New Jersey. Jersey. Um, we also have the two newest members of our team coming. Uh, <laughs> Jeff and Willie from Mountain Monsters. Oh, welcome. Um, That's their first time in Maine. And it's they're going to be their first event ever in Maine. Let's pop these cherries. Awesome. Like, there's so many great people coming. So many uh, hello. vendors. Hello. Adam's going to be there. Yes. Thank you. Last but not least. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be there, fucker. You Save the right best for last. That's it, brother. Besides you and me. Oh, the OGs. Oh, wait. Um, yeah, I'll be there, won't I? And Augusta Civic, <laughs> uh, Augusta Civic Center is right off the ramp, too. You get right off the turnpike in Maine. You can actually see it before you get off the offer. There's hotels there. Is there a hotel you're doing um, co collab collaborating we're with? Working we're on working on um, getting some room blocks. we got to go up to talk to the hotels, figure out which ones will do it, which one won't. Thomas, uh, We also whiskey, have uh, Dave Childers and Alora Hue. Huey. Alora Huey coming. That's right. That was just added. My girl says, sounds like some really good energy. My girl Heather's excited. She's going to be um, there. Which your life got sitting up selling her jewelry. I Larissa, saw these once a week. So um, many crafters, guys. Another person we haven't announced yet. Um, Larissa Rex will be there doing a lecture. Um, you got plenty of time. You still got a year to announce plenty more specials, and guys, you got to follow the Facebook page for more updates. Follow, like, and follow, right, Jeff? Like and follow. We're actually doing a giveaway right now. Oh, we can't forget about Stacy Johnson. She's gonna be there too. Holy shit, my girl! Yes, where the fuck is she? I got her on my wall somewhere. I got her in the fucking Pennywise thing sign. She put to Adam. She's excited. She hasn't. She hasn't been to Maine. She wants to take my tour. She wants to see the Stephen King stuff. She's done other shit, dude. She's done. She was like a backup dancer for like the L.A. Lakers or some shit. She directed her own movie. Um, she was also on Sesame Street. Yes, she did a thing about Lyme disease because she got Lyme disease from a tick. That's why she couldn't make finish all of it because she got her Lyme disease. So that's a, a, a documentation. So, dude, you got a little bit of everything. Everything from horror icons to psychic mediums to, to vendors. It's going to be a good time of two straight days, man. Holy shit. Uh, when the doors and open. Each day is going to be full of lectures, vendors. Um, Saturday night, there is an exclusive VIP party where only 200 tickets are going to be sold. Wow. And and there's going to be three different types of tickets, too. So there's the VIP with Ooh. VIP party ticket. So that's one ticket. Then their second ticket would be just strictly VIP where you get in an hour early. You get a VIP line for meet and greets and everything like that. There's perks. There's perks that come with it. It's not just money. There's perks. And, of course, you're going to have be fucking... VIP seating in the lecture hall. So I'm like going to show me to be there. Thomas, you need to be there. You he runs a haunted trolley in Connecticut. Thomas runs tours about the Beatles and shit in Connecticut. You guys are gonna be there. You guys will talk to Jeff tomorrow. I know it's kind of late now, but after the show tonight, tomorrow, if you want, yeah, you can always shoot me a message or shoot me a message. I mean, I'm both your fucking agents technically. I Thomas has already paid me for the second year. Just only been my my client for about a month, so you got, we'll work something out with tomorrow. And I'm not buzzed because I'm catching a buzz. We're a little bit over, Jeff. Is that cool? Can we go another five yeah. ten minutes? Yeah. All right. You're good. good. Um. Yeah, is that a cool? Um, yeah, that's fine. I was okay. trying to figure out. I was about to say something, and it just went blank. Marijuana affects the memory. I'm not even high. I am. <laughs> I know you are. No, but it tells you exactly what you should set your camera and stuff at. I'm trying to think. I hate that. Bro. Scatterbrain. Hold on. We were talking about the convention. You were talking about hotels. Hotel. Well, it, was, it was past that. There's something else about the convention. Oh, the tickets. Okay. And we have regular general mission. Um, Turn off flash. And we'll have two different entry points for the convention. So VIPs will be getting in an hour early than general mission. So, like, you get to go meet the celebrities first. You, um, you get to... Go in and see all the great vendors first. Grab all the cool deals that you want to see. Before. Yeah. Um, because we're going to have oddities sellers there. We'll have horror sellers. We will have tarot card readers, psychic mediums. Um, 
you name it, we're going to have it. We have someone that's making cool dragons, fl- uh, plushies. We got someone um, selling paintings and they're going to be painting in their booth. We got a lot of authors, like horror authors, going to be there. Um, we got my buddy Nicholas Pinkham going to be there. Nicholas um, Pinkham Art. I got to be just yeah. giving Art. I got a sticker. I met him right here. Oh, I have it. So here it is. Nicholas Pinkham Art. There you go. See, I you met him exactly at the Oddity thing. thing. Yeah, he's going to be shit, there. Holy shit, dude. You, you get all the local people some love, dude. Good vibes. Uh-huh. Yes, yeah. dragons. <laughs> so, Jeff, um, so you obviously you're going to be set up with your boards, I would imagine, right? You and my boards will be oh, set up. up. I won't be there the whole time because I'm going to be running around. But I have your wife, kids, and shit, right? I mean, well, no, I'm be trying to make sure everybody's everything at the con is going smoothly. So I have some. Well, but your wife and kids will be at your table, though, right? Uh, no, I have a friend that's going to be watching my. Okay. Board. <laughs> okay. Uh, my friend Barb's going to be watching it with her husband, Gary. Because um, I'm going to have my whole museum set up with over 180 different pieces set up. If you guys didn't know, the Augusta Civic Center is pretty big. There's been monster trucks there. There's been wrestling. There's been a lot of concerts, a lot of events. I've it's seen the Pearl second Gym. largest venue in the state of Maine. Yeah, Don't I've seen Pearl Jam there. It's big. Don't let him fool you. I'm the brains behind this event. <laughs> You're the brains and the beauty. He's just the brawn. <laughs> He's just the one who likes to spend my money. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, as far as setup, though, you yeah. guys will have things for your paranormal team too, AJ's Paranormal. You'll have if people have needed, I would think if they need protection, you're all under one umbrella, everything. The traveling boards, right? Well, this is, this is mostly um, sponsored by just traveling boards. Okay. Well, no, yeah. but your table though there, your table there. If people have questions, it's, we're paranormal. just doing we're just doing the museum. We're not going to have time okay. for anything else. We're just doing okay. the museum. Okay. Because me and Jeff are going to be running around like chickens with our heads cut off for the two days. Yeah, you guys so. take custom orders right there. Can people message you and say, "Hey, I'd like to have Ed Gein or fucking I don't know, like Poltergeist oh, background thing on a board." I mean, if somebody wants a board custom made. All they have to do is message the board museum. Okay. Okay. And good, send good. me the image. Yeah. Yeah. Like say they want a Stephen give King. Give an one idea of what they want. Yeah. Mike Myers one or Freddy Krueger or something. Yeah. Just give an idea. How long does that take for uh, a board? Must take at least a month, maybe three weeks. On uh, average. The new way I'm doing it will take a couple weeks. Okay. Solid. Makes sense. Gotta glaze it. Gotta let it sit, all that shit. So, uh, yeah, back to you, back to Jeff. We have a couple more minutes here. Um, <laughs> um, <clears throat> let's look at some people hanging on. Appreciate you guys watching. You guys got any more questions for Jeff? We're gonna get Jeff and his, and, and his old lady back on. We're gonna get him talking. Um, as more as the convention gets closer, we still got a, a plenty of time, but you'd be surprised how quick it comes. And we'll try to get Jeff with some guests on in the future. But if you get any questions for him now. If you want to know how you can sponsor this, if you want to know how you can be a part of this, your tears, it's on the Facebook page. But while you get the man here, ask him a question. Um, so let's get a couple more minutes out of this. Um, I'm excited. I'll be able to excited about this. Like I said, not everybody can watch it, but that's why it's on Facebook forever. And then I, I upload it to YouTube in a day or two to my channel. We got subscribers that yep. watch it and it goes up. So um, let me think. Let me think real quick. Okay. Let me think. Who would be your ideal person to work with as far as the boards go? Do you have a mentor type of person? Do you have someone that you look up to in doing this type of stuff? With with everything. I mean, Johnny Zavis, I guess, would be right up there. Maybe Tony Spera. John Zavis is a really good friend. That's for sure. He knows his shit. He's the godfather of paranormal, right? People claim yep. that. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he liked uh, when we called him that. Yeah. He's going to be there, there too, guys. Yeah, that. he does. I would. <laughs> he really uh, is. He saw my second ever museum set up. And to, he saw it last weekend, too, in Mass. And he, is just blown aw- he was just blown away with how much I have grown in the past three years or four years? Four. Four years. Wow. 
Time has flown. Wow. I started off with at my first show with like 40, 50 boards. And now I have over 180. And that's not even including all the planchettes, the documents, the history, the banners, uh, everything. You name it. I try to bring it. Thomas told uh, Johnny Zephyrus he needs a ring for everybody to kiss. <laughs> like the Godfather. <laughs> yeah, if Johnny gives you a call. Well, dude, that, that's, that's war and blood, man. That's, that's fucking Ed and Lorraine's nephew, man. That's right up there with Chris McKennell. Jeff gave um, him a bracelet, and he said that they're getting. It was what did he say? John Zaffer goes, "See, we're engaged now." He gave me a bracelet. <laughs> he told me that. He goes, oh. he goes, I'm engaged to your man now. <laughs> See, that's what I like though. With, like with He's him, so, like just like <laughs> humble. He's humble. Yeah, He's humble. So that's what I'm like saying. Somebody. You're very down to earth. Yeah. Very, you guys have humor in your life. Of course, collect it. Well, let's face it, Jeff. What you do is considered fucking odd, dude. We're considered weirdos. You know that, right? I already but, knew that. <laughs> but whatever, right? Fuck it. Right? I mean, there's a lot of us. Yep. All right. Four minutes to go. 8.15 kick us out. Any last words? Anything you want to say in the last four minutes? Anything you could we feel left out until next time at least? Nothing I could think of. Cool. I'm glad you came on. I'm glad you had fun, man. It's been a long time. I've known you for a while. Um, we've done some fucking... My, you know, shit in cemeteries and just shit back in the day when you had your trailer back in fucking Oxford there, the plane speedway was. So it's been <laughs> years. You had your bait shop and shit, but you've come a long way and you fucking, I'm looking, I'm like, look at the people he's talking to and growing. And we've gone places that we've gone on our own with literally no push. You, you're turning a lot ahead. So you and your old lady, man, making waves in the system. I love that. You're fucking owning Maine. Maine owes you a debt of gratitude. Um, the Maine Paranormal and Horror Con, 2025, September 6th and 7th, Augusta, Maine, Augusta Civic Center. Jeff, Jeff's fucking, Jeffrey fucking David with them. What are you going to say? <clears throat> Mike is yours. Make sure to come to our call next year. It's going to be a great time. It's going to be one of the largest events in New England for next year. History. It it's going to be awesome. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, you're going to meet a lot of great people from local artists to local paranormal teams. To, we have vendors coming from California. We got vendors coming from Wisconsin. We got vendors coming from West Virginia, Pennsylvania, New York. We got people coming from all over the United States just to come to this one event. And be under one roof. Um, one thing I do like to say, my event is Switzerland. Leave any drama you bring with you at the door. Everybody is equal at our event. That's the best thing I like to say about our event. It's a drama-free zone. See, Jeff's not like the rest of the paranormal words that he says, she said bullshit. Jeff has never really talked shit about anybody, and I really mean that. I've known Jeff personally, and we've always just about uh, having fun, going to the graveyard, and and trying to scare a, a fucking hookers away, and just going <laughs> to just have fun and go for a story and go home and just. And, and Jeff's very drama free. He stays, and I like that. So I'm, it's a pleasure to having you. Historically hunted book in LLC. You're my friend, my client, my brother, a fellow Mainer. You're supporting the locals in Maine. Supporting your wife, your kids, supporting yourself. Um, this will be up on YouTube this weekend. Guys, check out Jeff. Jeffrey, David, with him. Check him out. He's all over the fucking place. You guys can find him on me. I'm sharing the shit out of him. Um, until next time, we'll get you on with some other guests. Jeff, it's been a pleasure, man. I appreciate your time, dude. Thanks for having us. Go have uh, a good night with your beautiful family and uh, your doggy, your kids, your wife, and uh, we'll talk soon. Um, Maine's uh, Horror and Paranormal Convention, 2025, September.